Hello, it's Sarah. And it's almost New Year's, guys. I know. I still owe you journal pages, but I, you know, I gotta do what I gotta do. I've been wood burning, so I wanted to share a couple of projects, and then I'm gonna paint a little bit if you want to stick around for that. Um, I have just been playing with these dollar frames. These are from Michaels. Um, I love these. These I, I put my mosaics on here as well. But they're just really ma made well. There's no seams to come apart. And they burn really well, which I'm loving. So this was my first. Now, this is why I showed you this calendar. This is my calendar for 2019. And I got it from a company called Sticks, and I think I've mentioned them in previous videos. And I'm just very attracted to the artwork. It has that whimsical flair that I like. And because um, I'm a painter, I come from painting, I like that they've combined two of my crafts, uh, wood burning and painting, into one project. So. I decided to try a few of my own designs, totally inspired by the sticks um, style. I mean, the one thing I did want to say is you can kind of tell by this nice blown up piece is that they do a wet on wet technique with their painting. Um, and so I've decided to play with my own version of that and come up with my own look. Um, you know, I mean, because that's what last year and using what I have is what last year was all about was use what you have and make it your own so that's why with art journaling and all that stuff because coming from a decorative painting background I was a copycat and I used to say that all the time in my videos but it's not that hard to draw your own um, and and that's why sometimes people will comment it looks like coloring book or whatever um, I don't care because I'm gonna do me and I like it I think it's cute and um, this is the kind of work that I like when I see it on other people's projects as well so this is my first attempt now I wanted to show you to, to do this I take my sketchbook and this is just a big I don't know how big it is but it's big and I traced the frames this is what I've done when I've wanted to do um, what is it called um, embossing on my pewter um, I'm trying to see if I can find this very one these were the little ones that I did the spring summer fall winter can't find it anyway whenever I hear no whenever I get a design idea I sketch it out first so for art journey oh here we go yay so this is my first attempt so I just sketched it out um, there's other ideas in here because I love words, I love affirmations, I love positivity, optimism, so that's what inspires me. So I just start doodling and figuring out what I like. So on, on the actual one, I have some flowers here. Um, I didn't change it a ton. I ended up making my moon bigger. Um, and that's about it. I left off the flowers and I didn't put the bushes coming all the way down the hill. So that was basically what I did there. But then, and okay, so I did that one and I painted it with washes and floating. And I like it, but I'm not thrilled with it. So here's part two. I absolutely love this one. This is a, it looks more watercolor to me and I'm not a watercolor artist I don't understand watercolor but by keeping I just used floats I didn't base coat anything <coughs> so I just went around the edges of things and I really really like the way this one looks so basically I tweaked the design a little bit from this so I put the rainbow on the side and added a cloud I put my sun, instead of just being hanging off the edge, I put it full, I made full moon and sun, and I added a face to my little moon, which I love. Um, I moved the house over and made it a little smaller. Now, this is a bit smaller, this frame, and I'm so disappointed I don't have any more, but I'm going to definitely pick up a couple more of these because I just love the flowiness of, of the border of it, right? 
so I switched sides and made it a little smaller put the rainbow so you can see the differences and then I just added dream to the bottom so this one said home sweet home and I actually reburned the word the words because um, when I painted it it just washed out the words too much and I, I think the words are important so this is just my process how I decided to um, tweak it and change it and then I just used these little dip dot um, details which I really loved and kept it simple right but then of course I want to make another one of these because I'm in love with it and I didn't have any more of these frames so I just did it on the bigger frame so I just burned this one pretty much the same thing going on at the top I changed the eye a little bit I gave them an eyelid no, that's fine I added another star because I had more room up there and just thought why not um, I moved the tree over a little so in the when I, in the tracing so I traced it on you can see I just when you line up the center where the mirror goes or the picture because the other frame is a little smaller I just moved my tree over so I you can tweak things as you go got a little crazy with the windows on this one don't love it but it was already done I you know so it is what it is I changed the word to dream big and this is just my handwriting I just take a piece of tracing paper and put it's here somewhere and put it over this area where I wanted it to and just kind of sketched it and kept playing until I liked the shape of my letters um, and that's basically it I think you know so if you go like this everything extended out a little more so I just wanted my tree to fit had a little bit more room for the word so I just decided to put dream big and I changed the shape of this path a little bit my house was wonky so my house I'm a little disappointed on that so I'm gonna paint now when you burn with wood you don't seal the piece at all you don't do anything I just sand it real well I sand it with uh, I don't know if my sandpaper is on the desk. I have a very fine sandpaper and then this is the the Tim Holtz sandpaper so I don't even know what grit it is but first I give it a nice rough sanding and then after I burn I give it a nice light sanding and if there's any lines showing like my tracing lines I'll I erase them with my sandpaper as well and then I just wipe it off with I use the baby wipe to kind of wipe off the debris and if and then I thought well I like to burn really deep because I like the lines to be super dark so I would go back over after I sanded it any places that I thought didn't come up as dark as I'd like and then finally I used um, all-purpose sealer because I'm gonna paint and but now I need to be done burning so make sure that you like your piece the way it is um, because once you put this on the surface you can't really I mean you can but it's toxic you don't want to burn um, with anything on the surface so I found that out. I also found a couple more good pyrography um, YouTube channels and so I am no expert I am just playing and I'm learning as I go and um, creating what I want to create because a lot of times wood burning is um, you're basically drawing with fire and so all the shading and highlighting and all that stuff would be done with the burning um, tools as well so all I do is just do straight line drawing with the burning and then I'm gonna paint so now that this is dry I did a light sanding after the sealers dry I do another light sanding because I want it super smooth <clears throat> and I'm gonna float I'm gonna float this whole entire project I'm gonna get out I could have done this ahead of time I have my palette here palette paper oh there goes Kiwi come here Kiba oh, I, I have to clip her I have a green cheek Conyer hi Ginny my my poodles in the room too and so I think Ginny um, spooked her I'm gonna put out a little cad yellow and I'm a bottle baby I paint with um, craft paints these are usually Americana or ceram coat but use what you have that's been my whole philosophy right I mean we buy so many oops I did white already oh and I want burnt sienna 
Um, cause I'll just, maybe I'll go off camera. I won't do the whole thing on camera cause I, I know it takes so long, but I'm just going to put these out and I'm going to use an angle brush, one brush to do this whole thing. And this happens to be a faux squirrel by dynasty that I got because Tracy Moreau recommended it from the brush. Hey, get down, stop. Jenny's like all up on it. She's not a toy. Jenny thinks all my pets are toys. All right. So a corner load, a float is a corner loaded brush. I like an angle brush. I'm going to corner load. I've gone into water, blot my brush, and you're not going to be able to see this. I should have started with a color. I have lots of videos, guys, on floating if you want to try it. But this is going to be my little take on this um, technique that I love that um, Styx does. So I am basically going to go, I'm not going to base coat. So the whole thing is not going to be white, just the edges. Because I I thought, I love that it's wood and why, if I just base coat the whole thing, it's just a painted piece that like, what's the point of, sh of the wood burning and the whole thing? I could have just put the lines on with paint, you know, or graphite. I don't know if you know what I'm saying. Jenny is, she wants my bird. And you know what Kiwi does? She just sits up there preening herself like, yeah, you can't get me. But I don't know if you can, yes, you can see that. That makes me so happy. And then for the moon, I do the front of the moon. So the front little part with white, but then I do the back with a really super soft blue. So I'll go down the back because, you know, blue moon and I don't know, the moon to me always looks white, but I just thought to add a little extra. You gotta be extra nowadays. <laughs> That's the thing. Everybody wants to be extra. I'm so basic. I love being basic. I think basic rocks. Don't want to get it on his eye too much. Okay, good. So I always have my Q-tip handy because I, mm, I'm, I'm very fast too. So I move fast is what I mean. I'm going to let that dry. And I'm going to do the sun. There's really no white around the bottom but I'm gonna do the sun with yellow. And so all you need to know is basically you're not painting the, the object solid. You just wanna do on the edge. So I'm gonna put the darkest color up against this left side and swoosh it down to here. I don't know if I had enough water on my brush because usually the water is what makes it slide. So I go into water, blot on my paper towel, corner load, and then blend the paint into my bristles. And then I'm going to go down this little center area where his little nose is and the lips. And then I'm going to do, now on my other son, I did the outside edges of the the rays, but I think I want to see what it looks like. See, and that's the thing. Like, I love this one. I don't know why I tweaked it at all and changed it because I love it. And if it ain't broke, don't fix it. So why am I tweaking it? Well, because I, for whatever reason, I can't do anything the same twice. I always change stuff. It's super hard. And if it's handmade, that's the idea. You know, you do what the muse, which I don't know what a muse is, <laughs> what the muse indicates to you, right? So you just do what you feel, be in the moment, and don't get stressed out over it. It isn't, you know, this is going to look cute no matter what. I mean, color and cute things make me happy. So can you hear my bird flapping? Are you happy she's here? You're torturing my dog? It's actually James's dog. So yeah, see, and then the other thing about it is realistically, which, you know, this is so far from realistic, um, you wouldn't um, paint, insert, you would shade and highlight, right? So in other words, 
certain things you would have you would have a, a light source and then certain things would be shaded and highlighted based on where the light is hitting it right so you know like in anyway but I'm not doing it that way I'm just kind of putting color where I think color should go so like for instance these windows on both my other ones I put the the color on the bottom um I don't know I think I want to put it on the top <laughs> I just want to see the difference so I'm just going to go along the tops of all these windows Jenny's little nose is on the arm of my chair she's under my desk and her nose is just poking through but look how super cute so I'm going to do the stars so for the stars um, I just you could just basically do one little side of each pointy thing or you know you just don't need to do the whole thing the whole my thought is that I just want the wood to come through wood grain um, and that's one thing I need to learn about is like the better woods to burn on and all that and where do you get it because I shop at craft stores mainly and so I just get what they have there um, I know pine is a super soft wood and so I kind of like that and I'm really rough with my tools as well so I'm noticing like I might be pushing too hard on my 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 burning pen things like that so I'm such a beginner at that um, but look so it's coming together so let me put a little I'm gonna show you see the white on the moon I could even put cheeks I could dry brush cheeks on there but I'm gonna put a little tiny bit of oh I don't have it out so I guess I'm not um it's just this light soft blue which I don't even know if it's super super light because this is what I'm going to use for the sky the Indian turquoise but I just thought um, the moon could use a little extra color or something I don't know on the other one I had a little eyeball so I actually made him his eye a little bit blue can't really see but like inside of his eye should be white so let me just do this little soft blue and it's not real bright it's kind of a gray blue but I like it I really this makes me so happy I can't even take it I don't know I think that might need a subtle super subtle cheek all right but like so then for let me just go ahead and go into the sky Oh, oh wait here I want I'll do the trunk of the tree so for the trunk of the tree I mean I could have put more lines in the tree with my burner to give it more detail um, I could have put little roof lines all types of stuff but I really 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 get carried away and sometimes too much is too much I just want it so as you can see those windows are a little out of control I just think it looks much more simple and you get the point with two windows there's nothing you know um, and then I put the heart coming out the chimney but I think next time I might put a heart on the roof I don't know um, Jenny you are so crazy she's amazing I love her she's so cute oh, I already put brown out and I'm all right so I'm gonna come up I mean no you could see me there let's see I'm gonna go down both sides of the path so all the color is on the left side of the brush and I just kind of walk it down and it's it kind of fades out and then I'll do the other side too but let me do the tree um, let's see I think I just want to do I'm gonna go along the bottom And I just, because I have sealer on the wood, the paint is not going into the wood. It's staying on top of that sealer that I put down. So you can take it off. Now, if I hadn't sealed it, 
my paint would just be sucking right into the wood and wherever it goes it goes so make sure you seal the wood they sell all different brands of um, all-purpose sealer um, I guess I'll go down let's see what I did on this one I got a copy so it looks like I went down the left side and then I went around the right side of the heart so I'm gonna do that because I don't want to put too much color this brush might be a little big, but I think I can manage because I'll wipe off where it gets that I don't want it. So I'm going to wipe off here. This will be green. I just use spit, which I know is gross, and I'm getting it off the heart. All right. Then I can go down the other side of the path. So I went down the basement, which we need to purge our basement. I'm sure everyone has a, a basement situation. So because what happened was my, my son took all the stuff that really we weren't using and moved it to the other side of the basement, which is great because now one side of the basement is completely usable and great. But all the random stuff that I had put down there kind of got piled in places. So I went looking for more of these frames. Didn't have them, but I did have this, which I like because this is a bigger surface over here. So a bigger, you know, I mean the heart's in there, but I can put a lot more, like a bigger thing in the middle. Now I haven't thought about what I wanna do with this yet, but when I do, I'll film it and I'll share um, and then I have a couple more of these, but I have, I think I have one more of those other ones too. And I make a tracing. So I have this. Once you've designed your design, you create a tracing that you can reuse and reuse and reuse. You just need graphite paper and then, which that's another thing. I'm not sure if graphite is better to burn on or charcoal or something. I forget. There's, there's better things to burn on, but uh, again, I'm not an expert in wood burning I more stick to the painting but isn't that cute so I'm just gonna go to a smaller brush just because I'm gonna go around the heart and look how fast it comes together so fun so I've been sitting here all day it's raining in New Jersey and I'm supposed to exercise and I will I can go on the treadmill I'll go on the treadmill today um, but I couldn't, I can't walk away sometimes. I feel too excited. So that's it. I'm going to leave it. And then when I do, so I, I can keep going and if you guys want to watch, but basically that's it. I just wanted to share, I'll keep painting, but I wanted to share this. I'm in love with it. And I'm thinking I might either put a mirror in here or maybe a piece of glass because see, they're very crafty they're not they're not like well-made frames for, to put a picture in like really it came with a piece of cardboard so I could probably put a little piece of glass um, that's the other thing I couldn't get to my glass cutting stuff because I do most um, stain, stained glass too but I couldn't get over there because all the stuff was piled on there so um, but I'm gonna figure something out but I might put these in my Etsy store because they're addictive and I can just see myself making a bunch of these and I would like to find a source that has bigger versions of this frame which I should just go on the art minds maybe art minds has um, it's made in Texas so or distributed in Texas maybe they have bigger versions of these frames because I would love to play with um, a bigger version uh, but that's it. So if you if you want, you can keep watching. And if not, um, thanks for watching. I'll be back with some more projects. I definitely have ideas for my art journal pages, but um, I just haven't. I I've been it's hot the holidays, so I've been doing holiday stuff. And I hope you guys all had a nice holiday. Um, no matter what it was like. We had a fantastic, really, really nice holiday. So this is called 
Indian turquoise and I first I thought it looked a lot like water but then I thought I like it so I'm going with it and I'm really just going to stick it like okay let me start right here I'm going to go right above the rainbow I have a mop brush so I can kind of soften it if I got it on the um, stars or anything but this is what I'm going to go around the whole background so I'll go around I don't know why I pick and choose where I paint but it's kind of dark because see I'm a heavy hand I don't need to be putting it on both sides of these like I could probably do one side and it would be plenty but that's just not how I roll my my nephew Liam came over for Christmas Eve he's five so it was just fun to have him and we saw Maya Christmas Day which was also very fun but little kids make the holiday so fun if you're lucky enough to have any now see and I'm just pulling the paint off I just want it to be a wash I don't want it to be super thick like this is a little um, like I mean that's just how I float so I have to forgive myself and I mean I'm I'm looking for a certain look but it is what it is I have to be me right um, and that's the thing I have given into that um, idea that my work is supposed to look like someone else's work or whatever because I get inspired by them and I love their work but that's their work I can never do it the way they do it because I'm me so you know cut yourself a break and um, enjoy the process play with the things that you want to play with um, meaning your crafty tools and stuff don't just do it because it's a fad um, or th you know don't use it because it's not cool anymore <laughs> I don't know what's cool. What the heck am I talking about? Anyway, I think if it ain't broke, don't fix it, you know. I mean, it, I love trying new things. Don't get me wrong. That's that's my that's my favorite thing to do, really. But um I end up coming back to what works and what I really love, and I leave the rest. So, um it makes me happier that way because you can just stay doing something maybe you're good at it and that's kind of what happened with my painting like I was good at it but I've been there done that and I just really 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 needed to try something new and so I did and I'm so happy that I did because I found so many more things that I love doing and uh, and I've come back to painting though and now I'm adding <clears throat> my first love my painting into everything I do basically if I can I mean even polymer clay um, see this is super dark but that's okay because I'm not putting it everywhere good and I just pulled it off with my mop so that works I have to go around my moon because it looks a little naked up here you doing kiwi are you so happy because you're torturing a dog uh -oh. it, it would be darker inside the mouth I mean that's my old painting self telling me you know don't worry about that but for this type of project just be I have to just relax and have fun so I don't need to put it around every single area, but I want to put it, because there's blue here. I'm going to do it anyway. Is that your tummy, Jen? What are you doing? Um, the idea, though, and I feel like I'm going to stick with it, is that I want more wood to show. So I'll compare in a, one more minute, too. I want to show you. Um, the original one that I did nothing wrong with it but it's just 
not the look that I was going for. I was going, now see there's like a line. I don't love that. Okay, I'm just, I just got rid of the line. And there's wood grain and stuff, so it's pulling the paint maybe different. I don't know, maybe I'm going to add more paint there. But I think it has to do with the frame more than my painting. But I'm going to go around the moon too. Now let me see. I'm going to, after I'm done this, we'll compare the two. Because they won't, even though I did them both, they won't look the same. Because I change things. I don't know why, but I, I tweak it and feel like I want it to do something different. I love it so much makes me happy that just looks a little discolored to me but and if I don't blend my brush I get a harsh line but that's okay And if I really, if I just use what's left on my brush, it um, works out better because I am such a heavy hand. When I load my brush, I have a lot of paint on there. Like I can go for days usually. So it's, I'm better off just keep going and it'll be lighter. Or even load my brush from the runway that I first loaded it with. See, like, I might have gotten a little too heavy-handed in there, but it is what it is. I got to go around the tree, and I'm basically done with my sky. But you can tell how it needs something over here. So I'm going to reload, and the color goes up against the line. And I... Some places will be darker because I, I see like right there, I loaded the brush and I kept it a lot more solid. So I'll, I have to soften it out because it won't look right with the rest of the floating. So all my painters out there, I am not going anywhere when it comes to floating. It is one of my favorite techniques um, to use. I like the effect a lot. I'm not a, a very good wet on wet painter, so it's what I know, and like I said, I mean, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Now, that's not to say I wouldn't take a class of um, wet on wet painting. I love taking classes, and my piece would probably turn out pretty good, but it's not what I know, so I wouldn't feel confident um, just doing it all the time. Um, like I do with floating. Floating is just easy for me. OMG. So this is way darker. Okay, I'm going to zoom up a little bit. Look how much darker. See how soft my, can you tell? Let's see. I mean, they're both soft, but this one is super soft, the blue. And I varnished this and everything, so this is completely done. I signed my name. Anywho, um, the blue is super soft, um, and this is a little bit darker, but it's not too dark now. Compared to the first one, I just think this had too much. And then, not only did I just do washes, then I came back and shaded everything. So I have two colors of green on the green, two colors of brown on the brown. I put a little probably burnt sienna on the yellow to shade that. I even shaded the rainbow, so I think it was, it's just, it's not what I'm going for. This looks a lot more like the stick style to me, um, but I really wanted it, oh my god, I love it. I am so happy, so I'll be back in a sec. I'm going to finish this up, and I'll share it at the end. All right, it's pretty much done. I just wanted to show you one thing. I've I don't know if I've ever showed you this. So I wanted to put a little pink on my son's cheek. So I did that one. 
all you do is, it, I do it with a flute instead of a dry brush. So I take some water, just straight water, and go over the area. Make sure it's nice and wet. I'm just going to go into this, um, I think this is called Royal Fuchsia. And it's corner loaded, and then I'm just going to float, like, pity pat actually, in a circle. Keeping the strongest color in the center. And it will just add a little... OMG, I got to do it to my to my other guy. So basically what I'm feeling like happened on this one, because I was doing the same design, I didn't really tweak the design too much. I did definitely feel like I went darker though. And it wasn't really intentional, but maybe my mind, I felt a little more um, like secure and like I knew I loved it and I was... Um, I don't know, I can't explain it. But I, I like it dark. I mean, it's not as dark as the first one. This is what I just, um, oh, sorry, let me come up. I'm gonna stay away from this. This looks a little more like the sticks version and I wanna keep it my own. Um, so I'm gonna try and keep it light like this. So then all I do is I took a little bit of, excuse me, the blue, I think on this one I actually used the really, really light blue. So, gosh, excuse me. I think I'm, I have like a burp. Anywho, this one I kept it super duper soft and I love how that turned out. But this one, I mean, I think I went heavier with the blue, which I'm not hating. I think, oh gosh, something happened here. I don't know if you can see that. I don't know if, yep, yeah, I got it off. Okay. I don't know what it was that kind of scraped across it. So that's the hazards of uh, decorative painting. I think I got some on the path too. What the heck did I get it on? Got to look at your jewelry. You got to look at your everything. All right. Mm. So just comparing the two, they're both pretty much what I hoped with the lightness this one this one just came out a little darker with the blue I may have even changed the color so on this one I used the Indian turquoise and maybe on this one I used the soft blue that could be what happened and I just don't remember because I, I have all these colors on my desk I tried to separate out really what I was using but that could actually be the reason this is so much softer it's just a softer blue completely different blues you know so that's going to change the look too obviously um what else other than that now i'm going to seal this with an interior varnish this is a matte varnish and i just paint it on so um let me see if i signed it yet yep i saw i would burn the signing so yeah so um that's it guys i'm really enjoying this Maybe I won't come back with tutorials next time or anything, but I'll uh, just do shares. But I feel like I'm getting the hang of it, so I get on a roll. Um, but I love it. I hope you like it. I love it so much. All right, thanks for watching.